Hi, Tony Bradshaw with AdSumToYourIncome.com here to talk about spending, why I don't focus on the spending, and to instead focus on making more income. This is a little bit of me getting on a soapbox. This is a little bit of me sharing how I feel about all the focus on spending. Don't change your spending habits, is what I say about spending. Don't. And I immediately get the objection, but I spend all my money. Okay. Fine. You spend all your money. Accept it. That's your life. That's where you're at. That's what happens. Okay. That's what's going on. Just take a breath. All right. You spend all your money. Now let's take a moment and think about if you double your income. What just happened to your life and you still spend all your money? And I'm not just talking about doubling people. Let's say you make five times as much money as you make right now and you spend all of it. How about ten times? Take your amount you're bringing home now and imagine how much you're making with an extra zero at the end and that you still spend all of it. What just happened to your life? It's possible. It's even believable. People are doing it all the time. They pull themselves out of their life that's got this routine of them not even being awake. They wake up to realizing and learning and knowing how to make more money. And they make 10 times as much as they used to make. And you could do this. You could learn how to spend your days so that your passive income is 10 times what you're bringing home now. And sure, keep your spending habits the same. Spend all of it. Why not? Why focus on the spending? Why so much about this less, spend less, spend? It's, it's like a bonsai plant, bonsai plant. You cut the roots and you keep them in this teeny tiny container and what is supposed to be a full grown bush is just teeny. It's like a miniature little, it's a, it's a tree. My dad does this with plants. He keeps them tiny and they look like trees in his little miniature model set around his model trains. We got a whole bunch of them. They're just these teeny tiny bushes that look like trees. Bonsai plants. That's how you live your life when you keep focusing on cutting expenses, spending less, doing less, 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 less. One of the ones that really gets me, take a shorter shower. Oh, that's just dandy. <laughs> take a shorter shower. If you take a shorter shower, you'll save $100 a year. Okay. A five-minute shorter shower for people like me means a zero-minute shower. And, and, it's in the shower that I get a $100 idea every week that I then act on and go with. They don't all, not all my ideas in the showers. I mean, I have that shower thought and not all of them turn into money. But hey, $5,200 a year for $100? I think it's worth it. I think I'll take a shower every day. I think you should take a shower often, probably daily. And take as long as you need. See it as an investment. And then I like to see all of these little bits of places, people talking about change your spending, spend less. All these places they talk about could be an investment. Uh, the $5 coffee, <laughs> like go to your favorite store and get a $5 coffee. It needs to change in your life so that you'll have more money in your pocket because $5 is $5. Oh, wow. Well, what if that $5 coffee gives me a $50 idea? But then 
or I'm having that $5 coffee, a crosswind someone, and we make a deal and it gets me $50,000. What is it, what is it going to be? Why do I have to limit myself and my spend, spending? And that's where it becomes. It becomes a spend less than you make. I don't like the word less. My inner child doesn't like the word less. I don't want to tell myself less. Who wants to get up in the mirror any day and say, let's spend less? That doesn't sound like what most of those people who are saying that are doing. They may, they say these things and we're all, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. It makes them sense. You pay for them to tell you to spend less money. Here's what I say. Get in front of the mirror and try out this phrase. I'm going to make more than I spend. Make more and then I spend. Every single word in this, and it's a small, just little twist on the same idea, I am going to make more than I spend. Now, you can use both thens there. There's a then that means greater than a larger amount. I will make more than I spend. There's also a then with an E in it, which means a timeline. I will make more and then spend. I focus on the making more and not changing your spending habits. When you focus on your spending habits, that's the negative side. It's the stuff that's leaving. If that's what you're talking about, if that's what your relationships are about, okay, here's the five bank accounts. One of them is for frivolous spending. That's the account where you say all of this money is for spending. It's our spending money. You label your money that way and don't make it your focus. I suggest one of the other five bank accounts which is the income account, is your focus. The question for this account is, what more can I do to make more money? Or how am I going to make more money? Your why might be so that you can keep pushing money into your frivolous spending account. Great, fine, that's your why. And that frivolous spending is more spending for you. And you can keep spending and spend the way that you've spent before. This account, an income account separate from the frivolous spending account will help you. One of the things that I think about when I think about the money is the balancing of it. It's called a balance sheet in the accounting world. It's this page that shows you this is the money that's coming in, this is the money that's going out, and it must balance. In the straight accounting world, it becomes just a, you almost think, why do I even have this thing? Because at the bottom, it tells me that these numbers are exactly equal. So I can do math. This minus that is equal. This equals that. So instead, think also at the same time of your income statement, which is telling you this is what came in, this is what went out, this is what's left over. So we have the balance sheet, we have the income statement. Income statement. Simple. Uh, budgets are simple. It is 4 minus 3 equals 1. The advice keeps focusing on reducing the 3. Just imagine if you just spend 2.5. You got 4 minus 2.5 and you will have 1.5 left over. Okay? You could do that. Or what if we double the 4? Double the four and double the three. So eight minus six is now two left over. In my example, I told you about five times as much. Let's say you're making 20 minus 15. Now you got five left over. And of course, taking it to the 10 times, you're bringing in 40, you spend in 30, you keep in 10. Or, I mean, you can if you really want to. You can keep focusing on spend less, you know, reduce it down to 2.5, have 1.5, go for that. Simply doubling your income will double the amount that you can keep. And that's focusing on adding to your income. This is why I say, don't 
change your spending habits. And please don't track your spending habits. You could probably tell me within a Benjamin Franklin how much money you spend every month. Why track it? Why stress about making sure you have every penny and then look where it went and we got we to shower less. We got to have less coffee. We got to <laughs> cut the bonsai plant down. And it becomes this thing between people that are sharing their money together, you and your significant other. You're like, well, you spend, well, you spend, you spend, 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 spend. Okay. Breathe through that. Take that moment. Move on. And now think about how do we increase our income? What did, what did you do? Well, look at what you did. Look at how you made all that extra money. You helped us double our income. Guess what? I have some ideas on how to triple our income. Then this feeling grows within your partnership of helping each other to get somewhere else than where you are. Like I said, I invite you to not change your spending habits and to focus instead on the other side of the balance sheet where you increase your income. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.